Well, Governor Pritzker could soon sign off on a bill that would treat the city's violence as a public health crisis. House Bill 158 is sitting on the governor's desk right now, and there are at least two people who say it could make a difference for the communities that really need it. State Senator Michael Simmons of the 7th District is the bill's sponsor, and Reverend Anthony Williams is a father who lost his son to violence, and they join us right now. Uh, right now, I, I assume that uh, the senator was not able to join us, but we have Reverend Williams. Williams. Uh, Reverend, thank you so much for coming on the show. We do appreciate it. It's an honor to, to be with you, Ms. Padilla, and uh, I love Fox because you guys were with us from the beginning of this journey. Well, we are glad to do that for you, to get the word out here. What do you want people to know? Because a lot of people are not paying attention. What, how would this bill help underserved communities, and why do you feel that it's so needed? Well, the fact is, is that violence is the number one problem of the 21st century. And because of this bill, what it will do is to educate people to understand how violence is a public health crisis, it's a public mental health crisis. It would educate, it would create, uh, it would create uh, collaborations. We would let deal with structural violence. It would deal with civility. Right now, people are suffering from current traumatic stress. Uh, the CDC has said that violence is a public health crisis. Violence is a pandemic. And what we want to do as citizens is get our lawmakers to recognize this. So we thank all the lawmakers, the Sean Ford, Camille Lilly, uh, Lisa Hernandez, and the citizens of, of the state of Illinois. This would bring forth civility and redirect funding, which is sorely needed. I'd argue also, uh, Pastor, that it's, it's not just about violence. It's more than six in 10 people who die at the hands of a gun kill themselves. Uh, I'm kind of surprised this isn't already being addressed as a, a public health issue. Um, are, are you confident that, that you have, you know, you mentioned some of the support that, that is behind you on this. Is it going to be enough? Do you think the governor is going to go through with this? The governor has no other choice but to go with this because our lawmakers and our citizens, uh, we are the first state in America in the union to declare violence as a public health crisis. This is historical legislation that brings forth solutions is not an end all, but we're bringing solutions to the issue of violence. Never before has any group of citizens and lawmakers came together for a solution. We followed the science of the CDC. The CDC, listen to the CDC, listen to the science. Violence is a public health crisis, it's a pandemic. So now once the governor signs this bill, we can begin in the state of Illinois to deal with this issue and also get the president to understand and change his message to sign an executive order that violence is a public health crisis, a public mental health crisis. We've got to heal this state. We've got to heal this nation. We've got to be healthy. We cannot, we can no longer continue to live with this abnormal behavior. No one is safe and I don't care where you live at. And you speak about this from firsthand knowledge. You lost your son to violence three years ago. I'm going to ask you, how would a bill like this have made a difference in your son's life if he were still alive today? I think because civility, civility, violence ain't cool. People need to understand there's something wrong in the psyche of America right now. We have got to be a healthier nation, a healthier state. That's why I want to continue to thank all who helped, the United Church of Christ, WVON. A lot of great people help, Fox, other media, because we need to educate people that violence is a public health crisis and we cannot continue to live like this as, 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 as citizens. Civilization cannot go forth with this type of abnormal behavior. It's a threat to all of our lives and it has nothing to do with race, color, creed, gender, et cetera. We're in trouble right now, and we need this type of needed legislation. All right. Well, Reverend Anthony Williams, thank you so much for coming on to talk to us about House Bill 158 and how you're hoping the governor signs it. And as you said, he has to do it. So we'll see what he does do. Thank you very much for your time. And again, you know, we're really sorry about the loss of your son. Thank you, and God bless you all. And to the citizens of Illinois, we've done something great in dealing with this issue of violence. God bless everyone. All right. Thank you very much.